Yeah, welcome to another episode of History Yes, the Abobo Yeah is not for me. Yeah, it's not for me. Today I'm going to talk about something very controversial, something very interesting. I hope you learned something for this video. Yeah. of us were shocked when we saw the video and some of us wouldn't really see anything because we don't really follow music like that not that you're not, not it's not bad but if you're, if you're, if you're a very dedicated music follower and you're a Ghanaian music follower i'm sure you're going to be shocked at seeing christian alav sing like this now how did she move from this to this Hey, what is happening in Ghana? Because, I mean, if you watch this video, you know that we have scientifically proven that we have two categories of music uh, or songs in Ghana. We have the Ben Kwan and we have the Diaspora. And we know that Christina Love is never a Diaspora artist. She doesn't produce Diaspora songs. And now we see Christina Love singing like this in the, in the most Diaspora way we can ever see. And I'm like, oh god, nah, fam. Then some people are joking in Ghana here. That is why I'm here to tell you that, dear Minister of I am here to introduce a process to you. And this process is called, I'm here to tell you that, improve upon your craft. That is all I'm here to tell you. That is all I'm here to tell you. I'm not saying that the modern guys do something modern that you're not comfortable with, something that will not sell. I'm not trying to say that we should chase what is popular. Not everything that is popular is right. But I'm here to tell you that please improve. Please improve your diction. Please improve your harmonization. Please improve your breath control. Please improve your whatever technicalities that is in the singing ministry. So, is this a simple message? One way you can improve is to improve in your biblical knowledge, in, improve in the word of God. Learn. Because this is one thing I realized the message of the songs that we used to sing back then. Or some of the songs, not all of them, some of the songs that we used to sing back then, the message that they contain. If you if, if you compare it to now, the songs you are singing, you can see a very huge change, a very huge difference. What difference am I talking about? Back then, we were singing songs that were always asking God for something, always crying to God. And uh, my family, they are evil, they are working against me. God, come and deliver me. Everybody, but Jimmy. To the point where, to, and to this currently now, where people are beginning to understand God better and getting to know God. It's not about crying to God about your problems, it's about worshiping God, and it's about making God big amidst your problems. So, if you're an artist in Ghana, if you're a minister in Ghana, and you are still singing songs that are magnifying problems, magnifying challenges, magnifying obstacles, rather than magnifying God, I don't know where you will be. I don't know. I don't know what you want to do. I don't know what you want to do, because to be frank, the people in the church who are not necessarily singing have understood God better. So if you come and stand there and you come and sing song that do not really correlate, correlate, sorry, <laughs> correlate with the of God, they're just going to be there and they'll be, they'll be looking at you. That is why we see some artists the way we see them. I'm, I ain't gonna mention this, baby. I ain't gonna mention this. We can really improve it. We can really get there. Oh, we are always talking about Nigeria. We're always talking about Nigerian music. I'm a miracle. I'm a miracle. Another way that you can improve is to improve in the in the music theory, Ankasa Ankasa, the technicalities in the music theory. Please, we beg you. The do far so yeah, we've your taste are your bread. Your taste are your bread. And I know some, some people are going to ask me. So that's me that God doesn't move through do far so. No, I'm not saying that. God move through do far so. God move through do far so. But the fact that's you. You still don't wear the clothes that your mother, that those kind of clothes that your mother bought for you back then, and now you are wearing, you are wearing more uh, uh, um, nice shirts, nice trousers, nice shoes. There's a shoe some of us say if our parents buy for us, we will never wear. So if you if they buy for you, you never wear. Why are you buying for your child? So yes, God is still moving. That's why I'm using Adam Roku as an example. That he has not changed the way he sings. 
He has not changed it at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has not changed it at all. He has not changed it at all. But he has improved upon whatever he's doing. He doesn't play some. He hasn't do some things he used to do back then. He doesn't play some courses he used to play back then. He doesn't do some things he used to do back then. And Charlie is amazing. And Mroko is doing voice training. What are you saying? We are also being encouraged to give God our best. And I'm a boy. I mean to encourage you to give God our best. So if you are supposed to give God our best, you are supposed, you are supposed to give God the best of our music production that we can ever give to God. So there's this video by Jebel Prodi, MD for Jebel Production. You just listen. It's not okay to be in a choir and be singing and playing the same way for the past five years. I mean, why? You can't be playing the same way for the for the past five years and still be playing the same. Improve, learn more, delve into the music theory, learn more. So you, uh, you do mighty things by Sinatch. You, you found the song just like that and you decide to sing the song raw just like without doing anything to the song for the past five years we're doing the same things uh, i'm not saying that every song change but then you see it is when we see those people those nigerians those, um, those americans those uh, uh, uh uk people uk artists and they're doing great great things it's not, it's not because of anything it's because they are learning because they are learning i was telling my some lawe some of my friends that the reason why Jometu became Jometu is because he was doing something with Naya and Hubida. We've never seen, we had never seen something like that before. Bononi. What kind of music is that? Ghana, we, we, we don't do that. We don't do that kind of music. We don't do no. Ghana is just high life for reggae. You can't come and do RB type of music here. No, Ghana, no, no, no. You can't do that. But he broke it. He learned and he discovered it. And now Bononi is everywhere. And now everybody is doing the same thing everywhere. So when you learn, when you learn, God can reveal some great, great things through learning that you might never, you might never get to know, even by praying. Yes, that's the truth. Sometimes you pray, son, you don't learn anything. God, God if, if, because if, if you don't understand what you are doing, and God even gives you the idea. How are you going to execute the idea? Unless you know more about it, right? So that is when you are learning, 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 if you pray for five hours, learn for five hours. If you pray for ten hours, learn for ten hours. So I honestly don't want to be the only person talking in this particular conversation. I hope everybody who watching the, who is watching these videos and has understood me. Even though this Abu is not for me and it's just in my house. Yeah. Let me know what you think in the comment section. If you have my number to send what you think to me on whatsapp i would appreciate for instagram hey please don't forget to follow history Arts on instagram we have an instagram page now please follow history Arts. that's where you're going to find our content now not on my personal page because as i said it's going to be for me and my bae from now on so please <laughs> um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed to be part of the family uh, on this channel we do everything gossip music thank you very much and i'm out